Howdy, yo, whoa! This is Smoking Bibliner here, also known as Tade. How's everybody doing out there? I'm doing quite well, and I appreciate you asking. Today I'm smoking the Smoking Pipeliner Billiard, also known as a basket pipe. And it is my favorite pipe in my collection. I, no other pipe I have smokes better than this. Well, I got wires that work better than this. Anyway, I am smoking Chinette's Cake by Cornell and Deal. And it's one of their new cellar series blends. These blends are all geared to be aged for 10 to 15 years. But they also let you know that they're good to be smoked right now. So that's exactly what I'm doing. And this is a Red Virginia Vapor, from what I've been told. Mm-hmm. Which, you know, that's going to be good. But it is definitely heavy on the Perique side. Yes, it is. It comes in a crumble cake, as I have smoked about half of it. Mm-hmm. And you know how you're supposed to uh, pack your, or how you're supposed to cut a crumble cake? This is how you cut a crumble cake. You karate chop your cake! You karate chop it! You karate chop your cake! Come double karate chop! Okay, now the tin note, it's it's pretty unappealing actually. When you, especially when you first open the tin, it's got a like nasty, dirty, like uh, damp, wet socks, dirty dish rag, uh, musty smell to it. That's what the tobacco smells like. But that must mean that it's going to taste unbelievable. Because when I throw my dirty socks in my mouth, it's just bliss. <laughs> okay, that's pretty disgusting. Um... No, this stuff is good. I will say that. I am really enjoying this blend. I have tried it in a bunch of different pipes, including a Meerschaum, and it was pretty good in a mirror. In a corn cob, I didn't think it worked very well, as I usually don't smoke Virginia loaded blends in corn cobs. That's just my personal preference. Um, this one tends to work really well in the straight billiard, briar. Um, so, but to each his own, you know, try it yourself in numerous pipes and see which one works for you the best. Um, I think this, it has a very, uh, on, when you first get the bowl going, uh, the preek uh, comes right out and says hello. Very spicy in the forefront, but then you can start tasting those Red Virginias kind of coming on in, in the background, that real earthy, like uh, mossy characteristic of that you get from those Red Virginias, but that sweet. That, that really earthy sweetness undertone starts coming through. And by the end of the bowl, this stuff is very smooth, um, very sweet, but yet the pre kind of just stays there in the background, not as spicy as it was at the front. So um, also this crumble cake, unlike uh, the Oak Alley, Oak Alley was pretty much at the right uh, moisture level, level right out of the tin. This one you might want to let dry out a little bit before you get your pipe going, as I found it to be a little wet. So, overall, I'm going to give this one a 91%. And that's right now, let alone once this thing gets some age on it. So I'll get back to you in about 15 years and let you know what I think of this blend. Or not. <laughs> um, I bought um, some extra um, tins of this stuff to sock away and to smoke now. And uh, I want to once again thank uh, the folks down at Cornell and Deal for uh, sending me this blend to try out. And I've been impressed. So I've got another blend coming, or another blend to uh, review. Bye-bye. Okay, bye-bye now.